For half a century, the Hockley Viaduct in Winchester has been sitting in a state of disrepair, suffering from vandalism and neglect. After months of restoration, the viaduct was officially reopened today by a well-known Hampshire face. It's fantastic. Hopefully a lot of you know, young children are going to use it as well and hopefully they can follow in my footsteps and we'll keep the, the Olympic legacy going. Olympic gold medalist, world champion and world record holder Danny King led 45 riders from the Guildhall in Winchester two miles along the newly extended National Cycle Route 23, which now connects Reading to Sandown on the Isle of Wight, a total of 80 miles. Just so great to have such a long cycle route um, off-road for everyone to, you know, keep fit on and enjoy you know the surroundings. It was really exciting especially cycling right next to her. I really enjoyed that part. I think everyone can use it which is a good route and it's got little like twists and turns it which is quite fun to sort of go around quite fast. The viaduct was originally used for the West Coast Mainline Railway. It closed to passenger traffic in 1960 to freight traffic in 1966 but this line was very important during World War II. It carried supplies, military supplies from the north down to Southampton. Over 16,000 trains passed over it in the year leading up to D-Day. Even the old signalling post has been restored. It is a genuine London and South Western Railway signal and we found it at Kew East Junction in West London. So it does mean a lot. We, we intend as Friends of Hockley Viaduct to dedicate it to the railway that help make D-Day possible. The efforts of many organisations have brought the viaduct back to life, which has cost around a million pounds. Winchester College allowed us to use a bit of their land and it's all been about partnership working, it's about team, team working really to get, to, to, pull, to get off a great project like this. A part of history has now been restored for generations to come. Alexis Green, BBC South Today, Winchester.